Good morning and welcome back to Scarab Sister School, where we talk about things homeschool, culture, art, food, travel. We're a family that lives in Alaska and sometimes we travel, sometimes we pretend to travel. This is the end of a series where we went to New York City as a family last October. We took full advantage of all of the wonderful blessings there. We saw the Met, the Natural History Museum, One World Trade Center. We saw two Broadway shows. We walked around a lot. We went to Central Park several times. This is the second video of our days going to the Met. The first day we saw the Egyptian stuff and after that you walk, walk, walk and there's this gigantic storage room which has a lot of really cool stuff that they rotate in and out. So on the video you'll see us in there for a while. And if you wanna to skip to the next part, the next part we're in the statues in the atrium, I guess is what it's called. And then after that, there's American art. So you'll see some Native American um, tributes and other things by American artists that they were painting even from inspiration in other countries, Europe, Paris, Africa. And after that, then finally we get to, I think what was our favorite part, which was European art. So we have the Dutch painters and you stumble upon things like Rembrandt. And I loved those because it, it brings like the yin and the yang. There was a lot of dark and light, literally, and like this theme of the dark aspects of humanity and the lighter and death and life. So please enjoy all of those. And if you wanna skip section to section, you can jump. It's quite a long day and it's punctuated in the end by storage. I mean, in the beginning, and then again at the end, and a little bit in the middle, you see a lot of dishes and a lot of things that are really fascinating, really beautiful, but for some reason they're in storage. So if you'd rather put them in storage, skip that part. Please check out the Dutch art and at the very end, the arms and armory, which is, if you like gems and history, law enforcement, politics, knights, medieval, Ottoman Empire, anything like that, you're gonna love the section on the Knights. I put some special work into the last couple of sections because those were our favorites that we had to skim over. So please enjoy the Met today, your tour. We were exhausted by the end and I decided not to break this up into several videos so that you could see just how, what it is like from point A to B minus Egyptian. My apologies for this part being out of chronological order. We actually stopped by here after American Art in the storage room. So many people just seem to be hanging out. I suppose if you're a member, you can get free access, or if you live in Connecticut, or New Jersey, or New York, or if you're a student, you get free entrance to the Met. So this would be such a cool place to come hang out and study. Although, I have to warn you that the power outlets don't work.
these beautiful pink dishes. I don't know their history. This whole section of the Met is like one big storage closet. They rotate the pieces in and out. Everything's behind glass cases. You kind of feel like you're missing everything else in the museum, but you also don't want to miss all of this. These intricate details, these shining things, the colors, the flowers, the sparkles, they all really make me feel happy just to look at them. Imagine having this stuff in your kitchen. they're actually angels or there's little, I mean, I don't know if they're actually kids or if they're just little angels. Aslan. call this one it seems like it's all really odd things like this what in the heck is this it's like the same artist that one looks interesting it kind of looks like a squished cigarette butt that I see that has a functional use it looks really swirly 
much, 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 much glass dinnerware. I went and I filmed the pink in detail, so. Lamps, kerosene lamps. This must be where all the beautiful ladies are. This looks like the Met. Well, it's probably not. Entrance Hall of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. When in 14th Street, that is the Met. Oh my gosh. It's you. Look at this. Look at that picture up on the top left. Very top left. No, at the end. Mm-hmm. Look familiar? Yeah. It's here. There's an old painting down at the end of here. I'm going down this way a little bit because I didn't see answers. Mom loves these leaf tables. I need to stop taking videos because I have a run out of battery power. But I love these. I wanted to show my mom. There's ornate furniture. There's simple furniture. There's uh, dream ornate furniture like this, which I'm just now walking up upon as I'm seeing you here. Too much, too much, too much. I was afraid I was lost. Because you didn't know where we went? I didn't. We went in here and it's super cool. Bridgerton. Johnson Abbey Room. Yeah? The Teton Range. That's Chief Multnomah. That was made to give to the city of Portland, so I'm not sure why it's here. Yosemite.
Oh, it is in Cortland? Oh, that's a rip. Garjo key. Rancho's church. As I'm making this video, I'm going through the Mets website and seeing what I can find. So this over here that we're about to see is the Arab Jeweler by Charles Sprague Pierce from 1882. Boston born Charles Sprague Pierce belonged to the, f the generation of American artists who increasingly settled in France in the post-Civil War years. Like that of his celebrated Parisian teacher, Leon Bonnat, Pierce explored a range of subjects throughout his successful expatriate career. A four-month excursion along the Nile in the early 1870s led to a particular interest in exotic or orientalist themes, such as this ambitious portrayal of a native craftsman. some of it was from the map.
Getting light, that's the sunset, isn't it beautiful? Thought it would be funner because why? a Broadway set for Romeo and Juliet. Thank you. 
what, sweetie? Well, I don't think that the food place is open and we have snacks. Okay. Gosh, I love this so much. I saw in a Here Be Bar video, it used to be in some wealthy person's garden as a fountain. Swans are kind of our thing, and I love mosaics. They're so fun to make and so beautiful. This is just shiny, and think of what it looked like with the water in there. It must have been incredible. Now we're about...